Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Milana and I'm an English teacher and I'm really glad to see you here because if you are here, I guess you're learning English and I hope I can help you with that. So this week we're gonna discuss the episode of Emily in Paris. If you haven't seen this series, I think you should give it a try and I hope you like it. So let's go. If you like it, you can pitch it later, uh, you know, for your last hurrah. I want you to pitch it. Seriously? Seriously. The client has to start getting comfortable with you. Well, I don't want to step on your toes. Okay. Here we see the good phrase, step on your toes. Do you know what Emily means by this phrase? Okay, let's see. So actually, she means that she doesn't want to upset her boss, to offend her in some way. So that's why she says, I don't want to step on your toes. You're not. You're stepping into my shoes. Bring her also with an interesting way. You're stepping into my shoes, which means that Emily takes this job from another person, takes control of a task. So you're stepping into my shoes. That's what she says. And you're ready, okay? This is an opportunity for both of us. Come here, I want you to try this. What is it? It's the latest fragrance from Maison Leveau. Mm. We'll be handling them. Mm -hmm. We see the word handle in this sentence. Handle is a very common word. You can see it in every show that you watch. And what does it mean? Handle. The word handle is very common. You can see it in every show, I think. Yeah. It means that you deal with something or you manage something. A uh, very common collocation is manage the problem, manage the situation, and also you can use it with handle. So I will handle it. I will handle this problem. I will handle the situation. And here she says, I'll be handling them, the client, and their account in Paris. Let's keep watching. Account in Paris, what do you think? It's like wearing poetry. I'm going to use that. Hmm. Oh, that smells really weird. Does that smell weird to you? Does that smell weird to you? So we could use weird to describe something unusual or something strange and not natural. Does that smell weird to you? We will have another example a little bit later, so let's keep watching. No, just floral. I'm gonna be sick. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, is this it? It's on the fifth floor. This is the fourth floor. Uh, I just chopped off these bags, five flights. This is the fifth floor. In France, first the ground floor, then the first floor, then the second floor, and so on. That's weird. No, it's that's normal. weird. Yeah, that's weird. We have the same situation in Turkey. So we have the ground floor, the first floor, the second. Why the ground floor is the ground, but not the first floor? I don't know. That's really weird. How is it in your country? Maybe you want to have a drink tonight. I have a boyfriend. In Paris? In Chicago. So you don't have a boyfriend in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just get my keys? You yeah, play. yeah. Um, my number is on the card if you need me for anything and in case you change your mind. Mm -hmm. In case you change your mind, decision. It means that she can change her decision, her opinion. So change your mind means to change your decision, play an opinion about something. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now. Yeah. No, oh, Patricia doesn't speak English. Please continue. For those of you who haven't met me, I'm Emily Cooper, and I'm so excited to be here in Paris. I'm looking forward to getting to know each... I'm looking forward to getting to know you. We also can say, I look forward to get to know you. There is no difference in these expressions. But pay attention that after the word forward, you need to put preposition to... And also, you need to add the ending ing to the verb. So it looks like I'm looking forward to getting to know you, or I'm looking forward to meeting with you. I'm looking forward to grabbing a drink. <laughs> what does it mean? It means that you wish for something to happen or you want. So Emily wants to get to know them. 
if I may be so bold, our company a brand in itself. But to build a brand, you must create meaningful social media engagement. May I ask who is responsible for your social media here? Patricia. Makes sense. Makes sense. Actually, I would translate it that there is a logic in the words or in the actions. And the dictionary meaning is have a clear meaning that's easy to understand. May I ask who is responsible for social media here? Emily asks. Patricia who left the meeting before. So that's why she says makes sense. Anyway. Hi, Patricia. I'm wondering if I can share some ideas I have. Uh -huh. I'm wondering if I can share. I'm wondering if, but this expression is very common. You also can see it in every series, in every show. So that is polite way to ask someone to do something or just ask them for their opinion or for information. So that's why Emily asks Patricia. I'm wondering if I can share some ideas. Like, can I share some ideas? Je comprends pas. Oh, but my mother's from Korea. Another long, boring story. Do you love it? Oh, yes, of course I love Paris. <laughs> and the food is so delicious. Mm. The fashion, so chic. The light, so magical. But the people, so mean. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can see that mean, it's about people. But what kind of people? So generally, we say it about people who are unkind or maybe a little bit rude. Maybe you don't know what it is to be happy. <laughs> Well, maybe that's a little arrogant. Hey! Oh, sorry. Uh, just be a little bit. Well, maybe that's a little arrogant. So here is the word arrogant, and by this word we describe people who behave in a proud or unpleasant way, or even show a little disrespect for other people. So that's it for today, and we reviewed all the cards. And now let's revise some vocabulary from this episode. What does it mean, I wonder? Write in the comment below and if you understand this word, please try to think up your own sentence with this word. And I have a second task for you. Do you often change your mind? Write in the comment below. Thank you for watching this video. Come back next week for the next episode. Bye!